And now this is a really scary situation for Unitas to be in. Full polymorph is secured. Nice. Yeah, this part this part sucked because I think he, I like missed my shear or something, and then he blink sheeps me, and then, I fucking all of this happened because the Ellie was like messed up at the start, and it just completely fucked up my brain, because I wanted to stay out of range from the rogue. So I like was trying to do everything I can to not be in line inside the rogue. So I like dropped earthen super early. And I just AFK behind the pillar, so that was kind of unfortunate that that happened with the Ellie. Oh yeah, before I even get back to this, I was actually so fucking annoyed. I logged on, and I just see Yoski. I see Yoski dueling Wiz on his prop paladin. And I'm just thinking in my head, there's no way these people are going to queue prop paladin due to us and make this a three-hour series. I was like, there's no way they're going to queue prop Valley and make this a three-hour series. So thankfully, Yoski... Or maybe maybe all of them just realized that nobody wants to actually play that, and it's fine. But I literally remember I'm just watching him duel Connor, and I'm thinking like, Yosk, you fucking idiot. After all these years that I've known you, you're going to play Prot into me in the final game of the circuit? Like, please. Please do not play Prot. I do not want to have 20-minute games. So thankfully... Thankfully, they did not do that. Thankfully, they did not do that. I, I'm not really terrified of Prot at all. I don't think Prot's hard to fight. It's just the games are actually so long. Every game is like 16, 17 minutes. The funny part about this is... So, we win the game. So, we have like a four-minute delay, right? I think, we kill, I think we kill Aiden here with like a flame dress or something. And then Connor MCs him at like 1% or something as well. And then like drops it and deaths him. So thankfully he didn't MC the dress or something, which I think he might have. But I remember we killed them. There's like a four minute delay. So we kill Aiden and then we unmute the stream and and Super T says that. He's like, yeah, this is looking like an evenly, evenly matched series. And then Aiden dies like 20 seconds later because unfortunately for him, he just didn't have Trinket. So no Trinket. Very, very scary when you are a rogue player against other rogues. And it should be right in about here, maybe like 30 seconds from now. The real disadvantage is oxygen's oh. mana is dwindling at a much. He was at 5 a.m. Oh my god, Both really? Oh, yeah, that's probably so annoying for them. Jesus. Pre evasions, anticipating Peekaboo's moves, but Peekaboo jumps into vanish, goes for the cheap shot, sets up. Yeah, right here. Row, beautiful. Yeah, right here. Literally said, this looks. This looks like an evenly matched series. Five seconds there, dies, because no trinket. No trinket. No trinket. And when you don't have a trinket against a rogue, as you can see in all the games that we fight them later on, they actually almost killed me. Which game was it they almost killed me? Was it Tigers? Maybe it was the Tigers game. I actually, like, I'm just getting destroyed. Or Ash Mains was one of those. Uh, I definitely had a good feeling about winning because I know they play majority RMP, and I think RPS is good into rogue mage. I think RPS is one of the few comps in the game that is not terrible into rogue mage. I don't think it's an easy win, uh, but I don't think it's like a counter, you know what I mean? Especially if it's a Dis Priest and not a Pally, because obviously Pally has a lot more cooldowns. Um, and then you have a Neff, and then you have Shadow Resistor, so Pally is really annoying. But Dis Priest, I don't think is like a counter or anything by any means, so I think the matchup's like not bad for us at all as RPS. All right, let's see if they take advantage. Oh, beautiful sight! Up, screen Chrome. by Oxygen. Can they put a point on the board here? Void Shift comes in from Wizcalf, but they're killing him through Void Shift. Yeah, right here was so cooked. This moment on Ash Mains, I legit thought I was just gonna die through everything. Like it was actually so fried. Like look at look at what happened. Keep in mind, I'm a shaman. I'm an orc shaman with like, I have like sixty percent verse or something. Look this team, this game goes. He kidneys me. I'm at 100% HP in the kidney. Sword. All right, let's see if they take advantage. Oh, beautiful psychic screen. Cheap shot. I'm at what? 35, 40%. By oxygen. I get swapped to at the end of the cheap shot. Can they put a point on the board here? Void shift comes in from Wizcal. But and I'm just almost, I'm still dead again through a swap. Two HP bars, 60% verse. What's going on? What is going on? They're killing him through voice. They're killing Abstergs through two and three health bars in that push. Unitas refusing to go down without a fight. What's going on with Unitas right now, but they're just all oh. over. Oh yeah, before I pause again, I remember this moment. So Wiz literally dispersed offensively like a minute ago because we were going to kill the mage. 
And Disperse still isn't up yet, right? Trinkets the Fat Panda Racial CMD. So they're going here. They're going Wiz here. They're going Wiz here in this setup. I'm sapped. Uh, and in this moment, I think Connor gets out of the kidney or the fade or out of the garrote or something. And he says, uh, he says, uh, what does he say? He says, I'm going to, he says, I fade, I'm fine. And then like halfway through the fade, he's like, hmm, I could actually die here. And then I'm like, Jason and I are both thinking like, what is this guy talking about? What the fuck was that mean? You're dead. Cause I guess we just, we didn't know he had dispersed back. And then I'm getting re would with like fucking quarter dr cheaps and shit and connor just goes yeah can you link out of that and it's like dude i don't have link either like what are you saying i don't have link either but i remember that he was like oh can you just link out of this and it's like dude i don't have fucking link like what are you talking about and then he dispersed that one percent so that was pretty good so taking big damage there he's gonna trink it out and, and Appster's in a full sap it's i don't know what's going on with unitas right now but they're just all over. also being a pause andy the only reason we live this go the only reason we live this go is because connor is spam shielding himself i think he gets one or two shadowmans off as well before disperse comes back and then jason actually gets a restealth here on the right side of your screen he gets a restealth here and i believe he what does he do he like double cheap shots the dps or something and then we live Long enough for the ascendance. So yeah. Oh. Guardians. Oh. Looking like right here, he runs in, gets the cheap, steps onto Connor, or uh, sorry, steps onto Connor, presses the bomb, and then they've been eating garlic the entire Throat. day. Cheap here. shot, cheap shot again, the and we're alive. Oh, we're we're alive. alive. He activates the ascendance. He gets a one hundred percent. No, no. Get the cooldowns. They get the dispersion, and Whiskey hangs on. Holy fuck, dude! What is happening at this point, Unitas? They have to be screaming. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hey, we pushed across the map, and then I uh, the get a kick on the pin number the two. They almost took down WizK. It was so close, but I feel like at this point, it's going to be really hard for them to recover if Golden Guardians just push in. That's it. I get a hex. Land, he out, he it He's hiding away from Piku. Uh, does he have a dragon? Does. does he have anything to hold up? I think his BM fell, too. Very tragic. Very tragic. Sonic gets gripped and taken down. And Golden Guardians. That was... Lucky. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have sighted a Vader Cup on the stream. That is one Vader Cup sighting. That is one Vader Cup sighting right there. Put that. Vader Cup counter one. And we're back to the game. I have to say for Whiskey to survive, but they managed to pull it off. That's two. They is it two? Upset Kings and Golden oh, is Guardians it two? Okay. Now two to we'll zero. put two. Oh, goodness, super close there on we'll the side two. of Golden Guardians. Whiskey almost going down. Why weren't the shades on? Oh my god, ahead. dude! I should have put on the shades. And now they want to go and get something onto Oxygen. Whiskey maybe looking for mm. a fear here. This part was really good in this game. They tried to knock me out of the earthen. So realistically, what I should have done here is I should have earthened. I like my earthen was fine, but what I should have done is I should have run right on top of the wall so he couldn't knock me out of it. But thankfully, they had like somewhat of a misplay here where he knocked at the same time he kidneyed, and if you get stunned mid knock, you just fall to the ground. So thankfully, that happened. I should have just ran to the wall though, so it's a misplay by me. I should have just ran top of the wall before that happened. But they kidney me. I have to earthen totem, and I'm alive. I'm alive from the Golden Guardians. They want this 3-0. They had such a strong performance, although they won't be making- Yeah, we have the Trinket Wall swap here. So Connor's terrible at the game for swapping here. Uh, make sure you let him know that. Terrible swap. Come on, man. Come on, man. Into that top four. Big setup, big overlap. Yeah, that's why. Absurge Trinkets, Astral Shifts, and WizK trades out a Void Shift just for fun. Oh. That was a big overlap there defensively <laughs> from the Golden Guardians. And now there's some openings here for Unitas. I feel like after their game against Dilly's team, where Whiskey got deleted in one second, Whiskey's like, yeah, there might be a Drestigath. I'm swapping you. I don't care. Uh, but now there is a big opening. Absurd's pre earthen This guy was really good, too. I got the Earthen right on the blind. And then Connor Trinket fades and run back into the Earthen. So 
The swap there sucked, but at the same time, they ended up wasting their blind goes, so not that bad for us. Not that bad. Walls, but they knock him out of the earthen wall. Beautiful play there by Oxygen. And they net the Ring of Frost after the blind. It's three versus one on WizK. They need to get dispersion with this push, though. What do you guys know when the other team plays certain traits to balance abilities? Uh, normally, you just get used to people playing it. Like, a lot of Dispriests now, whenever they fight Shamans, they always play Knock. They always play Shining Force to get uh, rid of Totem, so... You just get used to playing it, and then like in the game, you can kind of feel it out as well. Version from WizK doesn't look like it. I think uh, it should be in a second here. So the rogue has no trinket. I think at some point the rogue cloaks. The rogue should cloak in a second here, and then we start screaming after he is cloaked that we're just gonna kill him instantly in the sun because we have bomb. Maybe it's right they here. Crossing over the shadow queen. They avoid it for no, now. No, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. WizK. Yeah. So right here, the rogue cloaks. The rogue cloaks. So before this situation happens. Um, the camera's kind of fucked up, so it's kind of annoying, but... It was a little bit late. Right here, the rogue is chasing me. If that's a so right here, in this moment, uh, we're calling for a kidney on the rogue to peel for me the next go, because I do not have trinket, I do not have wall, I do not have earthen, I do not have link. So, in this next kidney shot, with them pressing combust, I can actually die 100 to 0 if the rogue gets damage off as well. So, in this go specifically, this last, like, this next, like, 10, 12 seconds, we're talking about how we need to get a kidney on the rogue, uh, just to peel. So what happens here? What they were going for. See the rogue chases me. The rogue steps to me as well. And then I believe the rogue presses cloak to... I don't know why he presses cloak. Maybe to avoid a fucking fear or something. And then Jason kidneys the rogue off me. He still only has ice and there goes kind of shut down. And they use combust here too. So. With the shadow fiend out. They frost over the shadow fiend. They avoid it. Right the here. The rogue kidneys me. Jason step kidneys the rogue. The rogue also presses cloak. And the mage use combust here. So... We kind of knew the situation was going to happen since I'm kind of the only real target that can die. And kind of predicted that they were going to go me, especially since the rogue started hitting me as well. And then completely shut down this go. And then I believe after this go, maybe like 10 seconds after, we start saying that we're going to kill the rogue in a bomb. And we start asking Jason if he is bomb. So whenever, what is it, 30 seconds from now, and then this rogue hits the ground. Yeah, so it's right here. Literally in this moment... I have Claw, so I have my Claw Trinket. I'm playing Claw Trinket against Rogue Mage Priest because unlike the Pally version, we're not going to come down to mana. Like, most likely if against a Priest, I'm going to win on mana. I'm going to always beat him in mana, or it'll be really close. So I'm not really too worried about mana. I'm not going to play the Fang of Int Intertwined Essence, whatever the fuck it's called, for extra mana. I'm going to play Claw so I can do more damage on the goes. So in this moment, I have Claw Trinket, and I'm asking if we can kill the Rogue. Jason says he has Bomb. And the rest is pretty much history. Kenny the Rogue, press bomb, and he dies. Pretty, pretty nice. Because he had no trinket too, so... I'm pretty sure I get like two or three Lava Bursts on him too with Claw Trinket. So I actually delete the Rogue here. MD during that time. Which is nice. Trying to min-max the output as much as possible. After this moment right here. Connor fades in for the fear. With a slight mana. And we get the kidney. Advantage, trying to run away and Ghost Wolf. And... There's the Psychic Scream Stun combo. Dressed to get dropped Ooh. in for Peekaboo. Lava Burst. Connor was so mad to you. Look at this situation right here. Downtown. Look at this situation. There's the psychic. Connor gets DB'd. Connor gets DB'd, and this guy's telling me when I'm casting my double lava burst to dispel him out of the DB. Look at this rogue's HP. Look how long the priest is in a fear for. And this guy's telling me to dispel him. What the fuck? I'm finishing my cast. I'm the one that killed the guy too. I'm the one that's killing him. I'm not going to dispel your dragon's breath. What? Look at this. Look at me. Scream stun oh. combo. Dressed again. Whoop. Drops in for Peekaboo. Oh. Lava burst from downtown. I'm Golden not going to Guardians take it. 3-0. And we got another Vader Cup. Yep. Yep. I'm going to report that number right here. So we probably had like four Vader Cup sightings in this one, honestly. I don't even remember. So what happened here was... <sighs> Aiden trinketed about a minute ago when he dropped that smoke bomb. Yeah, Connor's trolling. I'm never dispelling in that situation. I'm going for the win every time. I'm going for the kill every time by myself.